Okay, for this video, I'm going to show you how to make a path, an object, or a shape. In front of you, what I have is a path that I created with the pen tool, but I don't want to actually have it awkwardly fill like this, but rather I want to make this path a shape. To do that, what I'm going to do is get rid of the fill color, and I'm going to increase the stroke size. So I'm going to come up here on the stroke and I'm going to increase, increase it quite a bit. I'll pick 40. Now what I'm going to do rather than it to be a path anymore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an object. To make it an object, I'm going to go under the object menu, under path and select outline stroke. When I do that, it's no longer a path, but rather it's a complete shape. And I can tell that if I go to the direct selection tool and select that object, now it's being created by multiple anchor points and Bezier curves. Let me do that one more time. I'll go to my pen tool. Okay. I'm going to get rid of the fill and I'm going to give myself a stroke color. I'll just do red. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click. I'm going to pull, I'm going to click, and I'm going to pull. Now, maybe I just want this to be an object or shape, but I don't want it to be a path. To stop the path, I don't want to continue to create this path, but rather I want to leave it right at here. To stop that from happening, all I need to do is go to the selection tool. It will stop the continual creation of that path. What I want to do is select this path and increase the stroke size. So I'm going to come up here and select 60 again. And I want to convert this path from being a path to a shape. To do that again, I'm going to go under Object, Path, Outline Stroke. And now, if I go to Direct Selection Tool, it is now a shape and I could round the corners if I wanted to. I could also grab an anchor point and I could manipulate these Bezier curves, change the handles. I could move this anchor point around if I wanted to. Um, so it gives you the ability that you don't have with a single path to uh, modify the object. Okay, I'll do it again, but this time I'm gonna use the pencil tool. So I'm gonna come to the pencil tool here. I'm gonna make sure that I have a stroke I'm going to get rid of the fill here and I'm going to come in here at the pencil tool and I'm just going to draw some paths and what I want this these lines to actually become one full shape to do that I'm going to select all these paths and I'm going to increase the stroke size here maybe a little bit more and I want this to be a shape so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to object path, outline stroke. Now it converted these into individual objects and it's no longer paths. If I want this to be a complete object, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all. I'm going to go to my shape builder tool and I'm going to swipe through them, these individual objects and make them one object and through here. Now all those individual strokes and paths are now one object. Okay, again, that was under object, path, outline, stroke. 